Welcome back to the East London Grand Prix circuit and into the V8 supercars. Good to have the big bangers back here. And the rolling thunder is definitely something you want to be seeing through Potter's Pass and through Rifle. Larry Wolford and Terry Wolford looking to get up the front and fight it hard with Benjamin Morganroot, Frank de Mateo and Mackie Adlin. Lights are on, it's a rolling start as always for these big V8s. They do 140 k's an hour in first gear. And as they head down towards Potters for the first time, it's Mackie Adlam on the inside being hounded there by Terry Wolford. But on his outside, Benjamin Morganut slots through and gets the whole shot. That is what the massive crowds have come out to see here. These V8s just flat out through here, getting those four wheels stuck to the tar is not easy touch. You can see the wind is pumping. These guys are really going to have to fight the steering. But look at it coming down now into the hard braking section into Coca Banner for the first time. You can see the cars four wheels drifting through there it's brilliant to see Devin Schwartz local man already up ahead there of Larry Wolford and Alki Kampan looks like some issues at the back of the field there's a couple of guys just battling a little bit there Johan van der Beer stays in oh and as I say that that's Schwartz I think who's gone a little bit awry yes he's got it out of shape there and unfortunately making his way through rapidly he spun out on his own some and has now fallen right to the back of the field yeah it looks like we've got a four away group here at the front of the field Benjamin Morgan Rube, Mackie Adlam Franco Di Matteo and Terry Wolford extending their lead now over the rest of the field as they come charging through the infield for the first time I'm going to be very ginger through here. Get some heat in those tyres. Into the final turns. Flames spitting out of that car as they come across the line now for the first time. Yeah, great to uh, finish up that first lap. The Deltic Batteries, uh, Jaguar, right on oh. the tailpiece of that Fuchs machine of Wilford. A little bit further back, you can see Van der and not quite having the same kind of day he expected, but he's up in amongst the usual contenders in V8 supercars. And it's a big, big uh, step up to make here, especially when these guys come through rifle at close to 300 k's an hour. Yeah, and fighting that. Remember, these aren't the light little uh, single-seater cars. These are big, heavy V8 cars. So fighting it through there, flat out. It really does take some driving skill as they come out of Coca Banner once again. Four wheels sliding out of there. Benjamin Morgan is trying to extend that lead now with Mackie Adlam not too far behind. Di Matteo just trying to stick in on the final podium. Yeah, Wilford in third place under attack there from the Italian Stallion. And Frank de Matteo looks like he's got what it takes here to take on the Fuchs car just ahead of him. Let's wait and see what's going to happen as they come into the complex. The number three on that car tells you that he was uh, in third place last year. But remember, he is an ex champion. Terry Wilford still looking for his first championship in the V8s. 66 a bit further down there is Alki Kampan in new livery. And good to see that car in full flight. Oh, Greg, how many championships do you think we've got in this category? There must be at least 20 combined national championships with the drivers we've got on display. Oh, Di Matteo, he can see that podium and he's trying to chase down on Terry Wilford and he wants it badly. Four wheel drifting out of there once again, smoking the tyres coming onto the front straight. And like I said at the beginning of the show, this is exactly what the crowd have come out to pay and, and paid their money for. Bevan Schwartz has recovered nicely. Alka Kampa now starting to close in on the back end of Larry Wolford. Wolford under attack as they head down into uh, the complex section. Coming out of the complex section, Ben Morganut is starting to pull away. Benjamin is definitely a man to watch out for in this championship. He didn't have a great round at Kyle Army in the last time we saw them in action. With those big flames coming out of the side of the car. Oh, problems. Is that Wolford? Yes, it is. Terry Wolford spun out on his own some. So that's from third place. He drops back behind Frank and Mateo. Hopefully he can get back on track before anybody else comes into play. It looks like he's going to be able to. Yes, he has. Maintains fourth place. Very lucky to do that. There you can see fifth place just coming into sight. And, well, that's a bit of a, a climb now. And I don't think he's got enough time to make up any more ground there on Dimito. Massive mistake there from Terry Wolf. We're not used to seeing that. Oh, big problem there for car number nine. That is the local man once again. So Bevan Swartz having a terrible uh, local race here in front of his local crowd. Spinning out again. That just shows you uh, the nutrition that you need in this race as well as your concentration and the skill you need to uh, get one of these V8 cars around this track is not as easy as we all think. Benjamin Morganroot is making it look very easy at the front. He's going to pick up the win. Mackie Adlin there with a the number one plate. He'll uh, pick up a second place. Not too unhappy with that, I don't think. It's vital championship points. And in the background there, Di Matteo, the final man on the podium. Confirmation there. Di Matteo gets third place ahead of Terry Wolford. Aki Kumpkin comes through for fifth. Larry Wolford in sixth place. Steve Herbst and Skulk Kampan. But let's catch up with our winner, Benjamin Morganroot. Qualified on second, Mackie had pull, and I got a lack of start. I got in front of him before Potters and went through and stayed first for the rest of the race until we finished.